people were like, uh, don't go to the southern Sweden, it's a horrible place, you will get robbed and mugged and your cars will be stolen and you will be gassed and you will be raped and all your money is going to be stolen. We came here to Kinnekulle. Uh, it's a little town. Things that you can see here is so tree church, hiking path, cave, waterfall. That's the sites of the Kinnekulle. Yay for the Killeknulla! Killa Knulla. So here's the hill. Let's see if we go there. This is uh, quite interesting because uh, this little town has app for iPhone. Good knille knulle. But yeah, maybe we go to the hill and maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to be. So we came here. Uh, this is Utsikenplatz. Uh, the place where you can admire the waves. So here's the uh, Sweden's biggest lake, or the second biggest, I'm not exactly sure, but that place looks nice. It's sad that there's no road going in a shore, like in the USA. There's lots of roads that goes in the more shore, so you can see the water whenever you drive. So. In Nordic countries, there's always one kilometer of the forest between, so you cannot drive there. Yeah, those Swedish ladies came here with a nice car and they are enjoying their breakfast here. I think it's such lovely. So people usually think that when you're doing food in a van, it's always uh, pre-made and you go to McDonald's every day but you have the same facilities here than in normal home. Yeah, it takes a little bit more time and uh, of course you have to do the dishes afterwards but it's worth it. Yeah, you cannot leave the dishes to the sink so. We have eaten chicken for the past uh, week or so because we found that the chickens are in Sweden really cheap. like. Less than 4 euros per kilo yeah, for filet. Yeah, breast fillets and everything. And they're ready to go and I can't believe how cheap it is. Yeah, and there's no... Like, they are not ready to season it. Yeah. As in the fill and it has always honey. And marinade and yeah. freeze and salt and everything in it, so... Good. Yeah. Less than 4 euros per kilo filets. Hmm. Woo! So we changed the driver and uh, now it's a professional driver Sara Vainala going for rally events. And 
red road goes well and the speed is uh, 10 km per hour. 20! We just took a uh, dogs out and because it's so hot day we're gonna find some beach that we can swim. Because I'm sweating. Yeah. And shady place to park our van would be nice. Yeah. And then a couple of days driving to Göteborg. So. Excellent choice. Excellent choice, sir. Chickens. Three chickens. But there are chickens in the yard. Yes. The Fiat is giving all the horsepower for us. So we are using this uh, app called parkfornight.com. Uh, it has uh, places to spend your nights on an app. There isn't much places, uh, but we found one uh, beach there, so we're going to go swim there. And after that, go to Linköping. to this uh, Ika supermarket uh, and bought us a food and here's the uh, receipt total is 742.92 uh, about 75 euros I think yeah so I think there's at least three days or so four days worth of food the prices in uh, Sweden is about 30% lower than in Finland so this much stuff bought from Finnish store would be around 100 euros. Or maybe even uh, over it. Yeah, because we actually bought things that uh, are really expensive in Finland, but are here much more, more cheaper. These are four or five euros piece in Finland, and now it was 1.7 euros. Yeah. 5 euros, 1.7 euros. And this is the pepper salami that I love. The pepper one. I don't know if the Ika is the cheapest uh, on prices. Uh, we tried the little and it seemed to be quite the same. And this store on Willy, Willis, uh, it was kind of cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the store name at Coop was really expensive. Yeah. We did find this good looking place uh, in Google Maps, so we are going to check it out. It's possible to park there and maybe even spend the night. It says welcome, and so I guess we are very welcome to park here. Yeah, and Sarah goes check the yep. rear. We always make this that we don't hit anything.
the chirping is like the others cities that we have visited. There's uh, five churches, uh, five lobbies, two cafes and... One sister Bulagen. Yes. Today we are here in uh, Trollhättan and it's little town and actually what's on the news a few weeks ago because there's supposed to be this uh, riots going on and even some media call it it would be a total war zone googling it so we can get the right place I think it's just a normal little peaceful little town like rest of it but there was news that uh, there's uh, I think 50 no-go zones in Sweden and we have with it now three of them yeah we slept the night and it was peaceful and uh, I don't know it's the media that is uh, scaring people you know, overreacting or what the hell and this looks like a normal town in Sweden Hola! Hola, hombre! Yeah, we just left the trail hut and then stopped it here in this stall. So it's a castle, yard, and we are gonna have a lunch. So it's means of meat, tortillas, salad, toppings. <laughs> One of the Finnish traditional foods. Nowadays. Yeah, it is. <coughs> hey, don't eat all. Oh. Um, cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> Your beard is full of cheddar cheese. Yeah. Mm. And a crinux. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, We came here to Kungälv. Uh, there's this really cool uh, fortress and castle there, but unfortunately it's closed as it's been the theme of our journey. So this is really nice place to stay, but we are going to continue our journey and go to Göteborg. <laughs> 